over the years, Coca-Cola has called itself the real thing and said that Coke adds life. Well, now the company is responding to charges that Coke and other soft drinks are shortening lives by making people fat. John Blackstone reports on Coke's new ad campaign. For over 125 years. In a way, there's a remarkable confession in the TV ads Coca-Cola started running last night. The soft drink giant admits its products are part of the obesity problem, but only part of it. All calories count, no matter where they come from, including Coca-Cola and everything else with calories. They're really corporate image ads saying, we're good guys, we're here to help. We're not here to hurt anybody. Ira Kalb is a marketing professor at the University of Southern California. Yes, they are trying to position themselves as part of the solution, and they are part of the solution. And I think it's very and they good. They make a sugary soft drink. Yeah, but it's very good marketing to say that we're, you make a sugary soft drink, and like everything, we, you should drink that in moderation. The Coca-Cola company told us there's a conversation going on about how to address obesity, and we want to be part of that conversation. I like to teach the world to sing. Coca-Cola once taught the world to sing. Now, the company says it wants to teach the world about health, but critics say it's simply doing damage control as public concern grows. Mayor Michael Bloomberg's successful campaign in New York City to limit soft drink serving sizes has attracted attention across the country. Sugary drink consumption is a key driver of the obesity epidemic in the United States. The new Coke ads also point out the company's many different brands include 180 no-calorie and low-calorie beverages. But the campaign seems clearly aimed at protecting the image of the drink with the red and white label that for decades has been heavily promoted more as a source of happiness than of calories. For CBS This Morning, John Blackstone, Los Angeles.